Abby. What? The questions are in. For Dr. Sarah Seeger? Yeah. Let's go ask her. I just wish Lumi were here. Yeah, me too. Hi everyone, thank you so much for all of your wonderful questions and the images you submitted with them. I love them all. Hello, Dr. Sarah Seeger. We have three questions for you today. First is, how are you? You asked how I am? After seeing your video, I am all smiles. I loved it. Do you reckon Proxima Centauri B could be an alternative for Earth? Well, yes and no. So far, what we know about Proxima Centauri b is pretty little, but we do know it's the right distance from its star, so that if it has an atmosphere like Earth's, it could be the right temperature for life. However, the star is very different from our sun. The star gives off flares, giant energy events. And if this were to happen here on Earth, it might be a complete disaster. One more thing about Proxima Centauri b, which doesn't preclude it from being an alternative Earth, is there, the planet has a special configuration whereby Proxima Centauri A would be in the same place in the sky at all times. Maybe for vacation you'd go to the night side of the planet, or you could go to where the sun is always setting. I want you to think that for a second, what that means about the planet. How is it rotating compared to its year for the sun to be in the same place in the sky at all times? Why are you interested in alien life? I love this so much. Oh my God. And the way they're dressed too. Sometimes when people ask me that, I like to say, why does a baby learn how to walk? I don't know really. I just love the idea of being able to explore. Hi, my name is Valentina and I had a question. What would be your favorite exoplanet of all the ones you have researched? My favorite exoplanet is always the next exoplanet to be discovered. But if you had to push me on one right now, my current favorite is TRAPPIST-1e. My team has telescope time on the new James Webb Space Telescope to observe this planet in the summer of 2023. Hi, Dr. Sarah Segar. My name is Emma. Which James Webb Telescope discovery has been the most surprising? The James Webb Space Telescope has been observing exoplanets for on and off for about six months, but not too much has been made public yet. So we're waiting for the surprises to come. The thing we're most interested in is atmospheres of small rocky exoplanets. We'd like to see water vapor in the atmosphere, which would indicate a liquid water ocean. Maria created a beautiful animation to ask, will we know life when we see it? Wow, it's so creative. I hope she got an A. Wow. That's a question we scientists spend a lot of time thinking about. We fear we might miss it, and we work really, really hard to try to think outside the boundaries so that we won't miss life when we see it. My name is Gonzalo, and I am in fifth grade. I am Manuela, and I'm also in fifth grade. What kind of living organisms could live in exoplanets? Thank you! That's a great question. There could be all kinds of life forms. Think about a planet with a higher surface gravity from, than Earth. So this is a planet that could be more massive than Earth, for example. On that, it would be really, really hard to move. There, we imagine animals being really short to the ground and having like very, very big stocky legs. Some exoplanets surely have a very massive atmosphere so that at the surface it's quite dark because the atmosphere is blocking sunlight. In that case, we like to just imagine there are birds with giant wings and that the wings are like plant leaves and that they can harness energy from the sun to do photosynthesis. Imagine a bunch of green birds flying around with giant wings. Many of you had this next question. How are exoplanets named? We're not allowed to name an exoplanet after our friends or kids. Honestly, if we were, I would want to name an exoplanet after you. There is an organization called the International Astronomical Union who are responsible for the names of every astronomical object out there. And the rule is that the planet gets named after the star. Once in a while, the International Astronomical Union lets a planet get an actual name. And they let organizations, such as schools or astronomy clubs, nominate a name for a set of stars that they have chosen. And then it can be voted on by people all around the world. Oh. So keep your eyes open for that and maybe you'll get to help choose the name for a planet.
Good luck on your final project. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And I wish you clear skies. Thank <laughs> you.